Four years have passed since the mortal races banded together and stood united against the might of the Burning Legion. Though Azeroth was saved, the tenuous pact between the Horde and the Alliance has all but evaporated. The drums of war thunder once again.
now and visit the one and only Dark Moon Fair, where you too can experience all the wonders of the world. Visit us now in the cool pastures of Mogor, or in the majestic forest glade of Elwyn. Be the first among your friends to sample Dark Moon's rare delicacies. And quench your thirst with the fair's world-famous brews. Choose from a wide array of bizarre curios collected from distant lands. Buy spectacular, one-of-a-kind toys for the little ones. Step right up and win some of our amazing prizes. Play a game of trunks. And don't forget to visit our exotic petting zoo. If you're among the lucky few, you may catch a glimpse of our incredible beer-drinking frog. And if you're still not convinced, you absolutely have to try our dazzling, stupefying, splendiferous Blastenheimer 5000 Ultra Cannon! Dark Moon Fair! The greatest show on Azeroth!
I was cast out by my comrades, exiled, forced to wander the frozen wastes. But I was not alone, not entirely. The voice, now my only companion, guided me to my destination. Strange, nightmarish creatures awaited me at the entrance. I felt my blood run cold. As cold as Ice Crown itself. Inside, I bore witness to horrific acts, demonstrations of power, power that could be mine for the asking. <coughs> Terrified, I ran, but did not get far. All too soon, my choice was made. Did I realize that such power does not come without a price? pay a far greater toll, for I have returned. I am Kel'Thuzad. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Tensions between the Alliance and the Horde have mounted as worldwide conflicts threaten to plunge the two factions into all-out war. Now, the Alliance has begun to tighten the noose, and whoever controls the towers in Eastern Plainlands controls the tide of battle.
imprisoned for ten thousand years. Banished from my own homeland. It has been many years since the destruction of Draenor heralded the end of the war between orcs and humans. Since that time, the Dark Portal has stood silent, and the fate of those locked beyond its threshold has remained a mystery. Until now. Outland, among the scattered remains of the Orc's homeworld, lies Hellfire Citadel, the Horde's base of operations throughout the First and Second Wars. Recently, the Citadel was discovered to be intact, but not abandoned. Savage Fell Orcs have claimed the fortress as their own. Their primitive bloodlust fueled by some unknown demonic force. The tortured cries emanating from deep below the citadel indicate that whatever power has bolstered the Fell Orc's ranks will not remain hidden for long.
until the day the orcs came. The day marked by cries of war and torrents of blood. When terrified women and children huddled in darkened corners. I led many to safety, but many more paid the ultimate price. That day, my beloved sanctuary became the Black Temple. There, the Orc Warlocks practiced a twisted magic that corrupted the land and nearly destroyed do us all. Do not do this, Gul'dan. Bear witness to the undeniable power of our dark master. You destroy us all! Even after the Horde's reckless sorcery tore the planet apart, my people were unable to find a lasting sanctuary. I remember the armies of demons that swept down on us like a plague. During these dark times, the room called Megtheridon made the temple his home. Then came Illidan, the one they call the betrayer, the enemy of my enemy. Megtheridon lures scores of hapless demons through them daily. Then we must seal them permanently. We helped him seal the portals of Outland and cut off the Legion's reinforcements. We fought with renewed strength and together we reclaimed our sacred ground. I think part of me knew even then that the Black Temple had only traded one evil master for another. I prefer to remember the temple as it used to be, not the abomination it has become. My soul bears the burden of my misjudgment, but I have been patient. I have been waiting, and when the time is right, the betrayer will become the betrayed. us out. But we never give up. We never forget. The elves took my eye. 
I cut off my own arm to escape him. And now, they fight alongside the Horde? I spit on the Horde! I hate you. I hate you all. But I got a surprise for you now. So come on in. Money never give up. We never forget. We never die. This is our land. You wanna stay. You stay here forever. We gonna bury you here. It was called the Sunwell. A sacred fount of untold power. It saturated every fiber of our being. In the warmth of its glow, we thrived. Until the shadow of death fell upon us. Sunwell's destruction, did we realize how dependent we'd become upon its magic? How much we needed to feed? In the wake of our devastation, I named our people Cinderai, Blood Elves. My people turned to me for answers. I promised them a cure. Strangely, we found deliverance in the demon Illidan. Illidan offered new sources of arcane power, and so I joined him in Outland, pledging to return one day to lead our people to glory. But Illidan's agenda was short-sighted. I grew impatient. In secret, I began harvesting what energies I could. I had a brief taste of true power. Before it was taken from me. But all is not lost. The Sunwell's essence endured, kept hidden by those who sought to protect it. Now, I have returned with the knowledge that sacrifices must be made before we can reclaim our birthright. I have forged a new alliance. Soon, the blessed rays of the Sunwell will shine once again and usher into this world the one who will deliver us all. of Lordaeron whispered the name. 
Arthas. Child, I watched with pride as you grew into a weapon of righteousness. Remember, our line has always ruled with wisdom and strength. And I know you will show restraint when exercising your great power. You will pay 
for all the lives you've stolen, traitor! Boldly stated, but there is nothing you can... What? <laughs> Did you think we had forgotten? Did you think we had forgiven? Behold now, the terrible vengeance of the Forsaken! Sylvanas. Death to the Scourge! And death to the Living! Is the hour of the Forsaken. We're finished. No escape for any of us. this until now. <clears throat> ah, King Varian, thank you for coming on such short notice. What's this all about, Ronan? I've... I've called you here to ask for your help. While our efforts against the Lich King press on, Bran here has brought us frightening news of the horrors beneath Ulduar and of its dark prisoner. Prisoner? Huh. With its binding shattered, its influence unchecked, it's gonna come after us, and we're gonna be the prisoners. You can see now what we're up against. If this evil is not stopped, <gasps> then the armies of the oh, Death no. God will march on our doorstep. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> well, what do you propose we do? Thrall, what are you doing here so soon? The summons sounded dire, Jaina. What's happened? <sighs> Bran Bronzebeard's forces assaulted the gates of Uduar. They battled the Iron Lords and their cursed minions. Permeating the great halls, stirring in their minds, chilling their blood. He said, the horror that the Titans imprisoned so long ago, Yog saron has awakened. Hmm. I want to see this dwarf, Garrosh, to see the fear in his eyes. Then we'll know if he's telling the truth. No, no, wait! We are going to need all the help we can get if we are- Roll! What? What are they doing here? Let me explain! I thought I smelled the stench of Alliance pigs! Control yourself! You want my blood? Come then, dog! <laughs> He's mine! Great 
steel in this conflict. But we stand to lose everything if we do not stop fighting and work together. A true war chief would never partner with cowards. At the Wrathgate, the Horde's partnership killed more of our men than the Scourge. I'm done with your Horde. May this Death God take you all. You disappoint me, Garrosh. <laughs> The old god is laughing, toying with us. Who will be our hope? Who will stand and face Yonseron?
Look now to your defenses, my son. For the champions of justice gather at your gates.
things quake beneath my rage. is extinction. Trolls, once ruled the mightiest empire this world has ever seen. Yet look at you now. Zuldrak has already fallen to the scourge. Its gods consumed as death descended on its people. Zulfarak, once the shining jewel of Tanaris, is now nothing but a wasteland. Divided, you are weak. But we, Zandalare, can offer you a future undreamed of. Jindo, the Gurubashi, would you see the greatness of Zul Guru restored? Join us, and the Zandalari will make it so. The cover of the Amani. Summon your followers to Zul Aman. Together, we will make Zul Jin's murderers weep for mercy. Brothers, hear us now! We, Zandalari, have returned to reclaim the former glory of our people. To see trolls retake the lands that are rightfully ours. And to crush any foolish enough to stand in our way. From the wreckage of the Cataclysm, the Troll Empire will rise again! Vol'jin of the Dark Spear, you would turn your back on your own people? The Horde is my people. If it be war you bring, then I stand against you. 
So be it. Dark Spear. But against the powers we'll soon unleash, none shall stand for long. This for days, Goel. The elements remain silent, Agra. How can I help them if they won't speak to me? You must rest. Everyone has their limits. Look around you. This world is dying. I can't have limits. When will you see that you cannot carry this burden alone? Great spirits, please speak to me. Show me what I must do. Captain, who are they? If 
doesn't matter. Our orders are to capture the Horde target at all costs. No witnesses. awakening, rejoicing. The cataclysm is over. The champions who fought at our side assured the survival of our world. But now, we must see it with mortal eyes. We dragon aspects have fulfilled our great purpose. And our ancient power is expended. But though our day draws to an end, life endures and new generations will be born. Today's victory belongs to all who stood against the shadow. You are Azeroth's true guardians and the future of this world is in your hands. For the dawning of the Age of Mortals has begun. Ask why we fight is to ask why the leaves fall. It is in their nature. Perhaps there is a better question.
Why do we fight? To protect home and family. To preserve balance and bring harmony. For my kind, the true question is, what is worth fighting for? So, it was a bear? In a hat! His wounds can be healed. I hope you can forgive yourself for what you have done to him. Pleased to report that the battle at sea goes well, War Chief. Our forces report decisive victories off the coasts of Tenaris and Tol Barad. Alliance blood spills. This pleases me, General. There's more. I received word that our southern fleet engaged an Alliance envoy. We chased the Royal Flagship until it ran aground. Aground? Where? Apparently, they found a massive, uncharted landmass, shrouded by dense mists. And you let the Alliance get there first! Redirect the invasion fleet! General, you and your best veterans will pave our way! Storm the shore, and paint this new continent red! We've made a thorough inspection of the wreckage, Your Majesty. There is no sign of Admiral Taylor or his ship. 200 ships at my disposal, yet the one carrying my son goes missing. What of their last message? Show me whatever you have. We have been drawn off course. Horde air fleet. Any casualties? Shipwrecked on an uncharted isle. But the White Pawn is accounted for. Repeat, the White Pawn is safe. And doing. Surprise attack! Requesting immediate if anyone's received. Sir, the Seventh Fleet has already been dispatched, but it could take weeks before it... There's no time to waste. We'll send a small elite force to secure this new land and bring back my son. We've been flying in this mist for hours, General. 
Please, Uneasy. Back to your post, soldier. We'll find this land, or die trying. Flagship's last reported position was below. Can you see anything? Fog. Nothing but dense fog. Wait. Land! Starboard! I see ships! Those are horde vessels. General quarters! Get our birds in the air! Clear the decks! Stations, people! Let's go to war! message must lie within. What fate did the Emperor foresee? from the wall, sir. I know where it came from. What was it? No. 
No! Men! To arms! Shield in the front. Greens Hill, Black Soil, cover our left flank. I don't want any surprises. Levin, take the right side. You're on your own. Everyone else, if you can hold a weapon, protect this village. Don't let them pass this line. You. You're nothing but farmer's children. We don't stand a chance. Everyone, fall back! Fall back! Yeah! For Pandaria! Who are you? Does it matter who we are? We are here to help you. Mm, we're surrendering? Why? Because these invaders can break down a wall. You have got another wall. And it is made up of the people who call this place home. Hey, give me one of them pitchforks. Any one of us would lay down our life to protect this land. This land, it belongs to us. It belongs to our ancestors. It belongs to our children. And we are not about to let that change. Pandaria, her hills of gold. In dark and mournful times of old, did once a hopeless horror hold. When from her sacred veil did spring, with storm and flash, a monstrous thing, his name, Lei Shen, the Thunder King. His thunder boomed across the land, and none who dared and fought could stand against the iron. Tyrant's hand. A palace grand, a warm domain, such mighty works born of his reign. Built by slaves, their hearts in chains. But seasons change and tyrants die. His fury spent in times gone by. The thunder slept beneath Kunlai. Secure the remains, brothers. By Zandalari hands, he has been taken. By Zandalari voice, he has awakened.
thirsts. Bring it to the pools. Enough! You have run rampant for far too long, Hell Scream. But that stops now. <laughs> Step aside, Pandaren. You confront a force beyond reckoning. Your father dabbled in powers beyond reckoning. Where is he now? And others! You are nothing like them! They are no longer part of my horde! <coughs> the world will hear of this. <coughs> they will come for you. Yes. I'm counting on it. The armies of the world will come for me. And within my fortress, they will face all the terrible creatures I have wrought. The boundless power I have mastered. And one by one, they will fall at my feet. Anyone who would rise against my new horde will be impaled upon the spires of Orgrimmar! You, Pandaren, tried to bury your hate and your anger, but such power cannot be contained. It must be unleashed! Time will come when you will answer for your crimes. I answer to no one! His punishment is not for you alone to decide. I won't let you take him. We have all suffered from his atrocities. My people, more than any other. Let him stand trial in Pandaria. There, we will meet out justice for all. The Horde needs its true war chief. Now, more than ever. Yes. But it was you that held the Horde together during this madness. It was you that protected our honor. From this day forward, Vol'jin, if you lead, I will follow. I... I am not worthy.
but I will give my all for the Horde. I will speak to your war chief. I speak for the Horde. Very well. The Horde has committed heinous crimes, Vol'jin. But some among you fought against Garrosh's tyranny. For that, I am willing to end this bloodshed. But know this. If your Horde fails to uphold honor as Garrosh did, we will end you. You disappoint me, Garrosh. You are not worthy of your father's legacy. His punishment is not for you alone to decide. I won't let you take him. We have all suffered from his atrocities. My people, more than any other. Let him stand trial in Pandaria. There, we will mete out justice for all. Look at them. Already they plot against us. Seize this moment, Varian. Dismantle the Horde. Guardsmen! Father, what are you doing? What a king must do. I will speak to your war chief. Speak for the Horde. Very well. The Horde has committed heinous crimes, Vol'jin. But some among you fought against Garrosh's tyranny. For that, I am willing to end this bloodshed. But know this. If your horde fails to uphold honor as Garrosh did, we will end you.
faces of your demise. Rise up, Iron Horde! Bring your war chief their heads. Answer for your crimes, Garrosh. Stand against us 
as mine for any willing to serve. Kilrog. You have seen your fate. You know what must be done. Kilrog! Yes. I will build a new Forge you into an unstoppable weapon. You will be the scourge of a hundred worlds. The might of a legion.
They will fight, and they will wash their blades of your blood in victory. <laughs> Fight if you must, Hell Scream. It is no matter. In the end, we all serve the Legion. You... you don't think it's over? Gul'dan... and the devils that command him... are not so easily banished. I fear this is only beginning. If you ever need us, we will be here. <laughs> Until we meet again. A great man once told me, in the light, we are one. The future is ours, and we will see Drano rebuilt together. You were not prepared. desire to extinguish all life. They slaughtered our loved ones. They raised our homes, our cities, and our sacred places. You tried to stop them, and you failed. And so you came to me. Nothing remaining of you but rage and determination. And you learned that the things that once tormented you could give you power. Now you see that there is no sacrifice too great if it brings an end to the Burning Legion. But... Lord Illidan... Demonic energies course through our veins. They gnaw at our every thought. What makes us any different from the monsters we fight? You question the master. We will not sit idly like those on Azeroth, waiting to become the demon's prey. We will take this war to the Legion's worlds and prey upon them! Attack the Doom Lord as 
Raskoff in his own domain. Sacrifice everything to save it. The Legion will know of this victory, and they will fear you, my Illidari. Now, you are prepared! Dari. My demon hunters. With countless worlds burning in the Legion's wake, you answered the call. Yet these mortals in their ignorance have come to destroy their own salvation. Our time is short. I will deal with these intruders. You must venture to Mardoom and retrieve the Sargerite Keystone. Now go. But remember, should you fail, all worlds will burn. No. Lord Illidan has fallen. Avenge the master! You bear the mark of his corruption. And so the demon's blood within you will be your prison! Take them to the vault! There they shall be with the betrayer forever. The time has come, Cortana. Prove your loyalty. Dorini Tala. The Legion has broken the seal! Quickly, sisters! Defend the vault! Lady Maev, we need you! There is something I must do first. In the Dari, I've spent my entire life as Keeper of the Wicked. Thousands of years, my only solace, knowing the world is kept safe from your kind. But I would do anything to save Azeroth. Even if it means releasing you. Will you help us, Demon Hunter? Oh, I'm 
Oh, oh, oh.